Hello UDK uh, users and developers and whatnot. This is Thomas Havlick. I'm bringing you a video tutorial on how to fix these uh, seams that you get when you're tiling meshes and compiling uh, your lighting. Uh, this is not a solution to uh, some other problems when you're, when you're tiling and compiling with light mass, but hopefully I'll make a video for those later. This is just for a uh, solution to the one where there is a dark line uh, going along the border area mesh. Alright, so uh, let's get started. Uh, here on the left, <coughs> I, well, I've actually got three different meshes here. Uh, here on the left, the far left, uh, we have a, a plane called Plane Full Space, and it's just a plane model, and uh, you can see by the UVs that the uh, light map UVs take up the entire UV space, the 0 to 1 space, it's completely consumed and the, uh, the light map resolution is just 64 uh, so obviously this doesn't have uh, any seams and you'll understand why here in just a second now before I get to this one in the middle right here I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this one on the far right and why it has seams so here on this one it's called half space moved, that's, that's this one here on the right uh, if we open this up and we look at it, it's the same mesh, but different light map UVs. As we can see here, uh, it's the single plane, and the uh, it, it's just floating there. It's not snapped to a grid or anything. It's just kind of moved and it's sitting there. Well, the light map resolution is 64, and I probably should have beefed this up to uh, 128 just to get rid of any uh, light map resolution bias, but even if I... Even if I were to crank that up uh, for this comparison, nothing would have happened. Uh, so, so here's here's what's going on. These one one of these UV borders are uh, landed halfway between uh, two pixels. Like the light map resolution is 64, which means there's going to be 64 pixels vertically on this light map and 64 horizontally. And um, this is landing halfway in between. And when uh, light mass goes it, and illuminates the surface, it saves the lighting information of this UV island to the space it consumes, and it floods the rest of the area here with black, and it's actually landing halfway between the illuminated pixels and the black pixels. So that's why you get this seam right here, is because it's just trying to compensate for that, that burp in the UVs. So if we open this up, and this is uh, this is uh, for the the second example of what's going on here, but if we uh, look at in 3ds Max, if we look at the uh, the UVs for this, it's not that one. I think it's the first one right here. If we look at the light map UVs for this, we can see that uh, here I, I've made a material to represent the resolution of the light map. Uh, it falls halfway in between the two pixels of the light map, which it would. Now I do not know why. It, you don't get the seams horizontally. Uh, I, it's just kind of picky, I guess, and uh, very, very, uh, very unexpected behavior from this. So, so that's what's happening. It's it's blending between the black area out here and the illuminated pixels on the inside of the UV island. So, what I did is I made a mesh that it takes up exactly the same UV space, except it's placed in the bottom left-hand corner. And we can see here in 3ds Max. Here, I'll go to this one and unwrap it so you can see uh, on the material that represents the resolution of the light map. It lands the, the border of this lands exactly on the border of the pixels, which means it's not going to have to do any kind of interpolation in between the dark and the light pixels. So you know when we compile lighting, and I, and I already compiled lighting for this, uh, you get absolutely no seams. See, yeah, there's there's shadows and they're kind of blocky so you can tell I just compiled lighting. Uh, there is no way you can get rid of these seams by compiling lighting on a higher setting. The only way you could get rid of these seams is to beef the light map resolution up ridiculously high to where this the, the border of the UV island landed on uh, the border of a pixel. So when, when you're laying out your UVs and you, and you want it to tile properly then you just have to pay attention to the light map resolution that you're working with and make sure that you don't land halfway in between two pixels. One of the ways that you can do that is to apply a checker material that tiles uh, exactly half of your light map resolution. So, you know, 
64, which is what the line map resolution was. We divide that by 2 and you get 32 because this tile, obviously tiles four times, or you know, 2 by 2, sorry, there's four tiles in total. So you can get a fairly, you know, reasonable uh, estimate of how dense your light map is going to be when you go up here in your UV editor and check the light map uh, for the UV background in the editor. Uh, now this doesn't work for higher resolution light maps. I think this goes out when you type in like 512 in the in the uh, material box or something like that right here. You can't type anything very high in here or else it's just simply not going to render it. Uh, so the other way that you can do this, and I found this on a form somewhere, and I re really wish I could give the person credit that set it, but you can uh, go and render the UVs. And you can kind of zoom in here and, and see, I guess, uh, if you were to go into Photoshop and apply a tile to this that was of the resolution that you were looking for, uh, you should get pretty crisp lines, and you can kind of go from there. Well, you can, you can really use this bug to your advantage, so it's it's more of a feature in some cases than a bug, because you can you can fix it with just a little bit of care. But if we go over here to these boxes, um, you can see that this box is called uh, box underscore hard, and this box is called box underscore soft. So this is the hard one, and we can see that this edge is hard. This edge on this box, uh, this edge right here is very hard. It, it's it's you know as hard as you'd expect. Now that uh, this over here is box soft, but all the edges are much softer. It's it's almost you know someone could look at this and say, oh wow, this this corner right here is beveled or you know chamfered for the 3ds Max users and my users they would say it's it's beveled. But uh, actually, what's happening is the light map is bleeding over onto the other face. So you get a really soft look. I, I noticed in Mirror's Edge, they, they really utilized this feature of Light Mass, or actually they didn't use Light Mass in Mirror's Edge, but the uh, lighting UVs, they, they really kind of utilize that to their advantage. And uh, you can kind of fake soft edges by applying such, um, uh, such care to your UV islands and, and where you sew the edges. Now obviously this is laid out as a box, the UV island, so you can't sew each edge. That's just impossible. Even if you did, you'd get a very ugly light map, and uh, you'd have a lot of problems. But you can see I sewed the top, and I also sewed all the sides all around, except for that side. This is the side where the edge is, or the, the edge where the, the seam is. So, uh, yeah, you can really use this essentially feature of light mass to to uh, you know fake geometry uh, in Mirror's Edge. If you if you go up to some of the corners of the walls, you can see how exactly you know low detail these walls are. They're, they're not very high detail at all, and uh, it's just something to really pay attention to when you're unwrapping these. And another reason why you should never seriously consider using the generate unique UVs feature in uh, UDK, it's just not going to give you those sewn together islands that you would otherwise achieve by unwrapping it by hand. Well, thank you for watching, and hopefully, there will be more videos to come on fixing other light mass bugs or some other features of Unreal Development Kit. Uh, good luck to all of you developers, and God bless.